So the biggest struggle I have, the list would be too long to say here. Mm -hmm. uh, As a mom, I wish I had better patience. I think that I would like to be laid back, but I'm probably more hands-on. Oh, well, my kids describe me as the serious one. What keeps me up at night is that never-ending list of to-do things. <laughs> I wish I was better at just being silly and not worrying about what gets done and what doesn't get done and just to not worry about it. Probably not as patient as I'd like to be. I want my daughter to see me as a woman who is passionately in love with Jesus. I really want them to fulfill God's purpose for their lives and at times you wonder if you're being the best example of that. I wish I was better at being consistent. The biggest struggle I have as a mom is sometimes fearing my daughter will make the same mistakes that I made growing up. Oh gosh, you're showing me video of my kids. Do I need my glasses? Do I need to be able to see? I hope y'all have tissues. I love my mommy because she's sweet and she's really, really nice. Yeah, she's just always like encouraging me to do my very best at everything. My mom's really good at taking care of us. My mom is beautiful. My mommy loves my sister because she loves God. My mommy prays with me. She's patient, so nice she's and lovable. And she's lovable. My favorite thing to do with my mommy is go horse riding lessons alone with mommy. I feel special when mom plays Mario Kart with me. When I'm really angry, she says funny stuff, like I'm an angry shamrock. <laughs> she reads with me. She, she tells me a bedtime story at, when it's nighttime and I go to bed. She's definitely a leader in a lot of people's lives, including mine. She is very, like, just go get them all the time and she's not scared of anything. I know my mom loves me because she gives me hugs and kisses. I love her so much every day, even if sometimes I don't seem like it. It's awesome. They don't say that stuff at home. <laughs> something that her father usually puts her to bed and I do only on occasion. And so it's nice to know that that means a lot to her. To hear my daughter say that I challenge her in any way um, to have an intimate relationship with Jesus, that is tremendously satisfying for me as a mom. It encourages me a lot just to know that the day in, day out craziness of life um, that there's some reward in it. And it makes me feel like I'm, I'm doing a decent job. I think, you know, at the end of the day, as moms, we hold ourselves to a very high standard. Every family is different. Every mother is different. Every child is different. So you can't cookie cutter it. I think it's easy to second guess yourself as a mom and feel like you're, you're missing the boat somehow. And I would say that at the end of the day, you, you probably are and it's okay.